This car is starting to look completely different and I love it. This is insane to look at. All right, it's officially starting to hail. Oh, Jesus. It's time. It's time we finally got rid of all the remnants of the TA90 so that we can rebirth this car into its new form. This car is starting to look completely different and I love it. I've been so used to seeing the decals on there, the red and the black and the gray. Here's how this side looks with the decals. This is how it looks without them. Interesting. Seeing the Supra without the livery on it was kind of refreshing and it was a sneak peek into what it was going to look like after paint. Speaking of which, it was time to get the bodywork started. So I took the Supra to the shop and we got to work. One of the things we have to work on is this. I actually, if you guys remember, I dropped the door when I was hanging it and I dented it. So uh, we're gonna have to pull this out. The front end of the car itself is actually perfectly fine, but we do have to work on the front bumper a little because it's got a little bit of, of damage because remember it was a used bumper. The next step was a whole lot more wet sanding, filling, priming, and wet sanding again until the car was finally smooth and level and ready for paint. All right, so just checked out the car. It looks awesome. Pretty much fully sanded down. They fixed all the uh, small imperfections. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it should get sprayed tonight. These guys work mad late. And then by tomorrow morning, hopefully it should be cut, polished, and ready to go. One thing was it was hard getting the color match uh, in the new paint correct because Turbulence Gray is actually really hard to color match. But we ended up getting a remix, getting a little bit darker of a shade so it matches a little bit better now. So uh, hopefully it should look perfect when it gets sprayed onto the car. I don't actually have any footage of the shop spraying the car. So here's some generic shots of a Supra being painted from the internet. And then it was done. What do you think, Zan? It's not, it's not pushed in, man. It's crazy. <laughs> like, this is insane to look at. Yeah, let's take a, let's take a walk around the car. Seeing a bumper that matches the rest <laughs> of the car in a hood, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's, it's nice. Hood looks good? Yep, and just then, uh, readjust this. How about, uh, how about the dent on the doors, Zan? Do we manage to take care of that? <laughs> Where was it? Here? Yeah, I like grinded right the corner. Yeah. Beautiful. It's looking pretty good. The the match is really good. Yeah, the color pretty match happy with the color perfect. Match. Even though turbulence gray is actually really hard to color match. It's good. We'll see in the sun and a couple other different shades how it looks and as it ages. But yeah, look look at the body line here. Yeah, the body line came out. Where we're we gonna pasta dip this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you think they can pull this out? Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get a new one of these. Huh? <laughs> It just bent. Like you held it like this and just. <laughs> oh, it now it's a little bent. Sorry. <laughs> it took like two so, seconds. Yeah. It's, it's looking like uh, like a car, like a regular civilian vehicle. Finally, yeah. for once. Hey, we'll see what happens to it now. That's right. Put it in another tire wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's the circle of life. Let's uh, take this thing home. So we took it home, it and just one week later, this happened. We got a bad storm today, guys, and uh, yeah, the Supra is, uh, it's outside. It's been a week since we got it back from the body shop, and uh, well, there's a 60 mile an hour winds and hail reported today, so we'll see what happens. Tornado alarm went on twice so far. You know how these things go, it's Texas. So, maybe we'll be saying bye bye to the Supra tonight. All right, it's officially starting to hail. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that little pebble there. It's pretty small, but uh, you guys see these little white rocks? Yeah, that's hail. Um, doesn't seem big enough to cause any serious damage right now, but uh, if they get any bigger, then, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. In perhaps the most stressful night of my life, I waited out this freak storm, wondering if the last year of patience and effort was going to be wiped out in a single night. And then, the next morning, I awoke to this. 
Despite the stone-sized hail, the Supra survived. There wasn't a single dent or even a scratch. It seemed that this car was determined to rise from the ashes, and not even planet Earth was going to stop it. It's finally done. Got everything painted. Uh, the fit up just needs to be slightly adjusted. I gotta adjust the bumper out here. I gotta adjust this fender over here. We gotta get the front lip on, side skirt on, these fake vents and stuff in, and then that's it. The car's done. And I know it's been like a year and a half or however long it's been, but uh, we got there in the end. So uh, thanks for all the support, guys. I really appreciate it. In the next episode, we'll wrap the Supra up and give this chapter of the project a fitting end.